So you want to start running paid ads for your dog training business. Today, I'm going to be answering the question of, well, how do I get started? I have no idea what I'm doing. How do I get started? And number two, what the structure I use in order to get my ads running up within the day, basically. So there's a few things that you have to do first. Number one is you have to create... First thing you have to do is create an account, whatever that platform is, whether it's Facebook, Google, YouTube, whatever it is. Uh, I just saw an ad the other day about Roku advertising. So you could advertise on Roku. You need to go create an account. Just type in ads dot whatever platform it is, or you can just go to Google and type in uh, Facebook and you'll find it. Okay. So first you need to create an account. The second thing you need to do is Second thing you need to do is set up conversion tracking. If you don't know what that is, essentially it's a tiny, very, a tiny, 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 tiny bit of code. If I can put it on a website, you can put it on the website. Uh, it's a tiny bit of code that lets the platform know that somebody did something on your website. So if somebody goes from Facebook to your website or your funnel and they end up filling out a form, that code will tell Facebook that this person and anybody who's like this person is what we should spend more of our advertising dollars on. So you have to have that set up before you start running ads, otherwise it's going to be a waste. Number three, Number three is get familiar with the platform. You have to know what's like the inner workings of it and its intricacies in order to fix things, understand uh, how to set it up. And you can just watch a video or a tutorial on how to use that platform. Just get a rough estimate. The more you use it, the better you're going to get. But you have to have some kind of bearings. You got to get your orientation in one way or another. And so just jumping in and starting to mess around with things. Don't set anything up yet. Just mess around with the settings, the menus, look at everything. If you don't understand something, Google it. And number four is start before you're ready. You have to initiate the learning process. Everybody sucks in the beginning. Believe me, I was terrified when I didn't have any money and I was like, well, I need to start running paid ads because I'm not getting leads any other way. And this is what people said I should do. And I don't have any money. And this is my last couple of dollars. So I just had to start. And yes, I lost money in the beginning. Everybody loses money in the beginning. We're going to go over how to minimize the money that you lose in just a minute. So those are the four things you need to do. Number one, create an account. Number two, set up conversion tracking. Number three, get familiar with the platform. And number four, start before you're ready. Now let's jump into how to understand ads and the framework I use to get an ad up and running in a day. So here's how ads work. You have what's called a campaign. And then usually you have what's called an ad set. Now the ad set is just, you guessed it, ads. Okay. Now, what most people think about when they're thinking about advertising is the ad itself. They're thinking about the creative, the picture, the headline, the subheadline, the call to action. All of that is what people talk about. They're talking about the ad. But more importantly than that is the ad set and the campaign. Here's an easy way to think about it. Here's how I think about it. A campaign is for your product or your offer. So anytime you have a new product, anytime you want to run a new offer, you're going to start a new campaign. Now, the ad set is going to just be your targeting. And no, I'm not talking about Target, the wonderful superstore where we can spend way too much money. What I'm talking about is targeting. Targeting is taking a very large group of people and narrowing it down to your specific ideal potential client. That's all ads are. All you're doing is taking this big pool of people that we call the world and you're saying, I only want to market to that tiny little speck of people. And then once I get good at that and I've saturated the market, which really is almost impossible, once I can't get any more people from there, I'm going to make my circle a little bit bigger. And then my business starts to grow and I'm hiring employees and now I have more people getting me leads then I can get a bigger slice of the pie. And then I have so much money that maybe I have uh, you know, a business in another state or another town or another country. And so I'm gonna start marketing over here, right? And then this one gets bigger. And then eventually I start cross promoting. So I offer online courses or online digital products. So now I can market to both of these groups in unison. I don't know what I'm drawing over here, but you kind of get the idea. Okay, and you do that for each product offer. So each time, let's say you're going to sell a book, 
that would be one campaign. Let's say you're going to sell a course, that would be another campaign. A service, that would be another campaign. And in fact, it doesn't have to be, okay, this is the books campaign, and this is the courses campaign, and this is the service campaign. No, no, no. This is one book. This is one course. This is one service. If you have multiple services, then you'd have another campaign for that service. Okay? So start with one, get really good with it, and then branch out. So here's how to do this in a way that doesn't waste a lot of money. You're going to start off with 100 buckaroos. Okay? Just 100. That's all you're going to do. You're going to take 100 buckaroos, and you're going to add it to your best offer. If you are just starting out, then you don't have a best offer. You have to just pick something. All right? I highly recommend uh, testing out your offer before you start running paid ads. Tell your friends about it. Try to get some testimonials. Test out the offer before you run ads because you're going to lose this $100. You're, you're just going to lose it. Just be okay with that now. All right? Uh, otherwise, don't do ads because you're going to lose the $100. Now, here's what happens. You end up going negative on your $100 when you start promoting your offer, but you learn how ads work, right? You learn how to run better ads, learn targeting, you learn follow-up, So you learn so much more than the $100 could get you if you were to pay for a course. And then at the end of it, you might make $200. Because let's say your offer is a $100 product, and after 1,000 people see it, 2% say, yes, I want that. So you just made $200. And what you do is you divide this by 2. So you get your $100 back. That goes over to there. And then you can run ads again. Okay, and then the cycle continues and it just keeps going. And then you take the other hundred dollars and you fulfill whatever service you promised to that person. Okay, so that's kind of how you do the math. So what I did when I started uh, running ads is I would take my hundred dollars and I would put it for one week. All right, I just ran it for one week. At the end of the week, I turned it off. Then I reevaluated. I just looked at it and I said, okay, is it working? Is it not working? What can I change? Do I have to improve the offer? I have to fulfill on the services for the people that I got, right? But the first time I ran ads, I got one person within the week. I spent $100, I got one person. Okay, and it was free, by the way. It was a free offer because I thought that would be the best offer. And so I just offered something for free and I got a client. Cool, woohoo. And that person ended up giving me referrals because I did such a good job training with them. So then I take this and I reevaluate and I say, okay, now... My next $100 that I just got from either that person or you've stashed away because you're prepared to lose $100 per test. So I take my next $100 and I do my week again. And this cycle just continues over and over and over. So one week is running ads while I'm focusing on other things in the business. And then that next week is fixing it. And then the third week is running ads and the fourth week is fixing it. So I get two chances every month to improve my ads campaign and get better and better. Only running one campaign at a time. One campaign. Don't try to do multiples. right? Don't try to run uh, campaign A first week and then fix it during week two, but then you're also running campaign B week two. Way too confusing. This is where you start. Grab $100. Instead of going to buy a Facebook or a Google Ads course to understand ads, take the $100 and go learn how to do it with the University of YouTube and studying as much as you can and implementing, actually using the money. Because if you, let's say you go pay somebody $100 for the course, what's going to end up happening is, sure, you're going to be interested in it and you're going to uh, maybe want to do it. But at the end of the day, you paid for the course and you got the course. You got the value after giving something in, right? So I gave $100, I got the value of the course. Instead, if I put my $100 into ads, I don't get anything until my ads do really well. So would you rather have that emotional, like, okay, I got my hundred and I gave my hundred and I got a course or I gave my hundred and I got a thousand? I probably want the thousand. So that's why I run ads this way. And now you know how to as well. You understand that you have to go set up an ads account, right? You have to set up conversion tracking in order to you know watch your metrics and make sure that's actually profitable. 
you need to get familiar with the platform and you have to start before you're ready. That's where this $100 comes in. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.